Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. This is Rakshit here. How are you doing? Hello, hey, Gidira. So, like you already know, Gadi is stage two now. So, I've come to test out. Also, you see uh, the stock uh, mirrors as well for this. That is because the aftermarket uh, R15 mirrors or 10R mirrors that I put, it is having a lot of vibration, man. So, so I decided to take it out. So what basically stage 2 does is, uh, you have multiple things alright. The first most important thing is, uh, ECU reflash is actually not recommended for road conditions. I wouldn't recommend anyone to do it until you do it for track. I ride it only on weekends but more or less, I ride on tracks also. So the setup, when you do uh, additional things that you can unlock when you use a stage 2 or ECU reflash which means that you will, uh, the first thing that I've done is uh, I actually purchased the racing uh, Ulich file for ZX6R 2019 plus that is somewhere about uh, I think slightly over 110 or 120 dollars so I can calculate how much that would come to INR or any other location so that is the uh, race map that I've done so once that I've purchased the race map <coughs> of course this guy did everything for him so, so he did everything for me and uh, purchase that key so once I purchase that key then uh, had to uh, once you purchase that key you'll get access to ECU this is what I've heard so once that uh, we get the access to ECU <coughs> basically the rev limiter now before in the stock it was going only up to 14 and a half as well now it goes somewhere close to 17 slightly over 17 but not redlining at 18 which is not good for engine so and the best part is um, and the best part is it does about uh, the rev limiter goes out that is the first part and then you don't have restriction on the top speed as well uh, it can do 300 is what he was saying but I think on road conditions difficult maybe I should have tested on dyno so that is the uh, second piece it takes away the top speed and also what I have done is uh, it called AFR AFR is air fuel ratio so you get to tune that as well which means that there is right amount of air mixing for the right amount of fuel which is very very important and uh, I have tuned it at the uh, full power mode low power you won't see too much of a difference and uh, the way I have tuned it it's not just this whack open or just uh, it's not just whack opening but uh, there is a significant difference in uh, the way the exhaust feels as well that is also uh, the best part and additionally at the wheel it was about slightly over 120 horsepower which means with the ram air it can add about 4 horsepower and also on the road setup that can go slightly basically 120 horsepower any uh, rough any rough ratio that you have any rough ratio that you have 120 horsepower or any horsepower right on the road it can go up to uh, 15 to 18 percent jump which means that it is slightly over 140 to 143 horsepower that is what the number would look like and uh, torque curve is also slightly improved uh, by uh, normal standards which is about like 4 or 5 torque has been uh, increased on the stock numbers so that is the difference that you see additionally after the ECU reflash and then followed by what all modifications that I have so now I have a full system M4 exhaust and uh, you also have uh, the air filter BMC air filter and the most important thing one another restriction that just goes away on the motorcycle is uh, the servo body odor sensor that has been enabled and uh, servo body has been enabled everything has been enabled so these are the uh, few things that has gone now and uh, you can also uh, I wanted to purchase one more uh, uh, key which is Ulich uh, quick shifter key which I didn't purchase because uh, Fahim was saying that you will see a significant difference uh, in the way in the way you actually uh, see from the sock setup I actually see that slightly uh, quick shifter has been more responsive and if I purchase one more uh, quick shifter uh, modulations it can actually uh, perform much better so that is next which I will do but as for now that is how it would look like and uh, I spoke about numbers, I spoke about uh, AFR, I spoke about um, what is that, uh, purchasing the Ulich file and you can't do auto flipper because this is right by wire, it's not right by wire so that is one bummer, you can purchase the Ulich racing quick shifter which is only limited top shift 
down shit you don't have and most important when you do is your reflash is uh, you get to open the throttle so much you won't even believe right on even on the stock ecu or even on the uh, what is it uh, rapid evo as well there was only limitations of certain uh, thing you can do and also the biggest difference between uh, piggy bank rapid evo everything and everything along with the ecu reflashes <coughs> you don't get too much of adjustments that you can make only thing that you can make adjust in the um, uh, f- uh, fueling that's the only thing that you can do in uh, piggy bank like rapid evo power commander or so many other piggy bank you can only adjust with fueling which means that you can give more fuel to make sure that uh, there is so much of torque pulling from the ground so these are the two things that you can do but i think beyond that uh, the restriction is very limited to piggy bank so that's why also i was not comfortable doing a, a ecu reflash only because we don't have properly trained or properly um, known folks so for him actually he came and he tuned his known across the industry for many reasons he is a many times a champion in drag race so that is what he has done in the past and also now he's doing he also beat the fastest goza record as well here in india which happened a couple of months before you would have seen that as well so these are the additional things that you can unlock in the ecu reflash so that is about stage 2 right stage 3 basically what happens uh, is you put a light of fairing okay and you play with intercooler you play with the radiator fan size and uh, suction cups so many uh, modifications you can make <coughs> so that is how you can do with the uh, stage 2 and um, I am yet to uncheck the full power because there is so much traffic because I need to get over the power band That is another problem There is idiot in front of me, he is disturbing from very long time Also uh, part is i am not done like a track setup it is very linear in nature and there is no too much of pataka there is no vibration in the mid range that i used to feel before at least it is reduced by a significant margin he told me after doing so much he said only motorcycle is 85 to 90% accurate so he was saying you can still make it 100% he was only really not satisfied uh, once he comes back to india i will check he is basically from jordan <coughs> he has dynamo mates that is sitting in uae so with that uh, that's about this basic vlog next i'll try to put in full power mode and see how the motorcycle flies